What's up, you guys? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made the really pretty acrylic painting on my living room wall. So today I decided to make a new one and I think they're fairly easy to make. And if you want your house to look really nice and you don't wanna spend thousands of dollars on artwork, you can definitely do this yourself, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys something. I never made one like this before, so we're gonna see how it turns out. But let's hurry up and get into this video. For supplies, you're gonna need a heat gun. You'll also need resin, parts A and B. You'll need the paints that you're gonna use and then any fabrics or different textures you think that you might add onto your canvas. So I already laid this out. I'm gonna hot glue these down so they don't move and then I also put some glitter So down. first I'm gonna glue down the peacock feathers because I never worked with these before and I don't want them moving around while I'm putting my resin down. Okay, so now I'm mixing the resin together and you wanna make sure you get as close to a 50-50 split of A and B as you can. So you wanna make sure you mix them together really, really good by scraping the sides and the bottom of the cup. Now I'm gonna pour the resin on all the parts that I want covered and clear. So basically I'm just gonna cover um, all the peacock feathers that I put down and I'm also gonna cover all the glitter. Now I don't want my glitter to be in a perfectly straight line, so I'm just taking a paintbrush and blending it in some. So now we're gonna use the heat gun, which will allow me to blow the resin around how I kind of want it to form, and it also helps get rid of any air bubbles. So what I did here is mix more resin together and then I added about a teaspoon of blue acrylic paint to it. But FYI, you can add just about anything to resin. Um, just know that some things look a little different when you mix it. Also, if you don't want paint running down the sides of your painting, like kind of how mine is, then you can always put tape around the sides before you start. I personally don't mind it, um, but if you do, then you can tape the sides before you start. So now I'm adding these little gold flakes. I, I love adding these. I think they just add so much like um, character and just make the painting really pop. So now I'm just going over and perfecting everything. I'm done and getting rid of any little air bubbles I see. And yeah, I think the painting came out pretty awesome. It's not what I intended on making, but it still came out really cool. <laughs> 